Well, when a Foston man noticed that his barn cats had been getting into feed bags filled with peas to use them as a makeshift litter box, he got an idea for a business. And now he and his childhood friend have started their own cat litter company out of a garage. For this week's In Business Report, Betsy Moline has more. It all started when Chad Blazer of Foston noticed barn cats getting into feeding bunks meant for his sheep. Feeding field pea chips to my sheep. I have uh, about 85 sheep. And I noticed that the cats were using the feed bunks as litter boxes. This gave Chad an idea to start a company that takes an often unused food product and turn it into an eco-friendly kitty litter. All of the production happens here in this 1,200 square foot building in Faustin where they take raw peas and turn it into a finished product. So Pea Pod was born. The name came from a family brainstorming session. Actually my nieces came up with the name. Um, they were brainstorming and kept texting different names and different names and finally they said Pea Pod like pea pod, and then we're like, yeah, that is, I like that. Chad then came together with his childhood neighbor, Wayne Olson, to take this idea and turn it into a business. One unique aspect of the litter is its impact on the environment. The largest thing is is the renewable, sustainable aspect of, of, uh, of the field peas versus the traditional clay litters or, or some of the other litters on the market. Since starting production in September, they've already expanded to selling in 10 locations. We are in Fargo, um, and there's a store in Faustin, uh, Erskine, McIntosh, Bagley, and we're, uh, we're continuing to branch out. We're looking for stores in the Brainerd area. But they are looking to expand even further throughout the state in 2021. Looking for uh, distribution in the uh, Minneapolis area or elsewhere. Um, so we're, we're open, we're, we're making product, and we're looking for distribution. With the lack of trade shows this year due to COVID-19, the owners say it has been hard to start their business, but they've been excited about their success so far. Reporting in Faustin for this week's In Business, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.